What is up and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be reacting to Riverdale Season 3 Episode 17 and I am so excited after that really, really haunting scene at the end of the musical episode last week with Edgar Evaneva standing up and just <coughs> haunting. I'm ready to see what's going to happen next and where the story is going to go from here and I know we're about to embark on like a four week or something break after this episode so I hope we live it up before the break and we are left with something I kind of like personally le hope we're like left with something that it stays on our brain for that whole height like for that whole break because I feel like that's something that I'm like gonna enjoy but yeah anyway let's go Riders clear moving in a new version of the midnight club <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're the serpents. Hey, what the fuck is happening now? Bang bang! You both dead. Always check your six, Daddy. Oh. It's a deadly mistake. This is just a simulation, but you don't get any do-overs in the street. <laughs> Do you mind if I hang some flyers? The farm's having an open house tomorrow. An open house? Yes, we are opening our doors to visitors. Everyone is welcome to tour our renovated premises, meet with farm elders, and learn about our values and practices. Of course I'll go with you. <laughs> Did you really think that blowing up that decrepit trailer would change anything? Oh, I'm not going to stop until you are out <clears throat> of Riverdale. Well, you better buckle up then, because I ain't going anywhere. Megan, hi, Garrett. Hi. At the farm, we like to nurture everyone's unique talents. Kevin, I'm sick. Like Hockney meets Heaven's Gate. We haven't talked in forever, and that's all I get? Enjoy the rest of your tour? You forsook me, Betty. Not the other way around. Whoa. Do you ever bite your fingernails? Sometimes. Do you ever feel stressed? Sure. Doesn't everyone? Do you consider yourself a cult person? Huh. Wait, they use the no. word cult? Okay. Great, thank you. Now, my dad doesn't think we're ready, but we're going to be Riverdale's unofficial DEA. That means we're going to make life miserable for the gargoyles and run them out of our town. But first... We're gonna hit the hot spots. Make sure Gladys isn't using any of Hiram's old infrastructure. Mad Dog, what's happening? They're finally shutting down LNL. That's great. Because of what happened to Warden Norton? That's what they're saying. But really, it's because they opened up that new prison on the south side. Hiram Lodge's private prison. But that's not for juveniles. Apparently, a wing of it is. We're all being transferred there, right? And the LNL guards who made us fight here, they're all gonna work over there. They're gonna start the fight club again. What's in town? Perhaps an appealing person might do the trick. Are we going to see the face of Governor Dooley? Hope the traffic wasn't too bad, Governor Dooley. Right this way. Oh shit, we are too. <laughs> While my friends and I were forced to box for Alan L's illegal fight club, you and Warden Norton were at fundraisers having lobster dinners. And there are five other inmates who will swear that you attended these illegal fights with Warden Norton as his personal... <sighs> what about Jason? What? He told Polly they were running away to the farm. Don't you want to know why? Please, Cheryl. Shit, please. I had to go about cover, that. I would. <laughs> They've been talking about the farm since season one. <laughs> I'm in, cousin. That was easy. Everything good? Not for you. Hey there. Huh. Remember me? Last time I was here with the Red Paladin. And that day, I was in a good mood. But today, I'm in a bad mood. Oh. And you can help me with that by telling me where all these drugs are coming from. 
Oh. oh my god. It gets this there. is Cheryl Blossom. It's oh. nice to meet you, Cheryl. Thank you, honey. My dad will be finishing your interview now. Your Say names. fucking what? You don't George just meet Edgar Nevin ever now. When I fell through the ice, I saw him down there. Afterwards, I was changed. It was like my spirit had finally returned to my body. So much so that I burned down my childhood home. So you've already been baptized. And been reborn in fire. Guys, this is Mr. Keller. Trainer, extraordinaire. <laughs> Mr. Keller, these are the guys I was talking to you about. Good to meet you, fellas. Glad to see that Archie's gonna finally have some competition around here. <laughs> say Jones Johnson for a rematch as long as there's no guys betting on us sixth and benedict boss great job keep it up what you got for me first of maple nice work ruin my bust what the hell are you thinking boy oh no what the hell were you thinking are you out of your mind he was gonna leave me to the cook to curse you asked me to be your eyes and ears and i told you to report back what the hell is going on here? Sure, sure, sure. You all sure, the way up in JP. Sure, sure. Your son thought that he could cure Riverdale's drug problem by cracking a few skulls. Yeah, you know, I heard this old gym and reopen. Thought I'd drop by. Quite the stable of fighters you got here. If I'm not mistaken, I've seen a few of these faces before. Who is this clown? He's a crook. You raised me to believe that family was the most important thing in the whole world. And I stupidly believed it. And it cost me Archie. When he came back and you were in the hospital, I chose you over Archie. I broke up with him because you were on death's door. Count him among the hot dads of Riverdale because Mr. Evernever is a yummy huh. snack. He's also a great listener. Cheryl, I this bet is, he is huge. You're in with Edgar, which means I have a few questions I need you to ask him. Okay? Why did Edgar decide to come to Riverdale now? And how many members does he plan on recruiting? And most importantly, excuse you, we are having a private conversation. Can you leave? <laughs> Weird masks. Weird like masks? Gargling masks? Yeah. They're cooking drugs out of some vacant apartments and my grandma and brother are right there. Oh Get my them god. Out. I'm gonna move my family into the gym. <laughs> Me, Mad Dog, and the crew. They can fight. Every last one of them. Oh, oh, my. oh my god. They're gonna get themselves put back in prison. Before we begin. And... Where do you store these tapes? In a secure location. On the premises? 